Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. One of the new features of On One Photo Raw 2022 is its ability to use plugins meant for Photoshop. So, someone who has Photoshop and has a number of plugins installed in Photoshop, well, supposedly those plugins will work in On One Photo Raw 2022. Or do they? In this video, we're going to test a number of different Photoshop plugins to see if they actually do work in On One Photo Raw 2022. On One Software claims you, you don't even need to own Photoshop any longer. As long as you own those applications that were plugins to Photoshop, those plugins should work in On One Photo Raw 2022. But by default, they're not in here. You have to install those plugins in On One Photo Raw 2022 in order to use them. Now, I did cover this in an earlier video. Now typically once they're installed they're going to be under the layer uh, menu at the top and they're under the filter section and you can see that I have a number of them installed and as I mentioned by default these won't be here. You're going to have to install them. To do that you need to open up On One Preferences. On a Mac Preferences is under the On One Photo Raw 2022 menu. On a PC I believe it's under the Edit menu. Once you open Preferences, go to the third tab from the left, Plugins. And if you already own Photoshop or you rent Photoshop and it's on your computer already, all you need to do is click this Choose button on the far right. And when you do that, it will open the actual folder in your Photoshop folder that contains the Photoshop plugins. And then just click on Open. And then you'll be using that folder You'll be sharing those plugins that you already have. Now, if you no longer own or rent Photoshop, but you have those applications that were plugins for Photoshop, what you're going to have to do is drag those plugin files into the default folder. So you need to open this or click on this button to open this folder and then drag those applications or the plugins for those applications in this folder. Now, obviously, I own or I rent Photoshop. I'm part of the subscription plan. So I just needed to click on choose. Once you do that, you'll need to close down on one photo raw 2022 and then reopen it. And then once you do, they'll show up under layer filters. And as I mentioned, there's, I own a number of different plugins, Photoshop plugins, and we're going to see which one of these work. Now I'm not going to go through every single one in this video. But outside of this video, I am going to go through every single one in which, and see which one of these works and which ones don't. In the description below this video, I'll have them all listed. These are all the ones I own, and I'll have them listed. And uh, you could see if something you often use that I might not cover in this video, you'll see whether or not it actually works in on One Photo Raw 2022. Okay, enough of this. Let's get started. Let's go right to the top and we'll do Boris FX Optics. Uh, typically, you just go to this, again, Layers, Filters, Boris FX, Optics. And it crashed. <laughs> so that one doesn't work. And I got a crash report here. We'll close that down. So that one uh, does not work. We're 0 for 1 and we'll open up on one again. And it's asking me to submit a crash report. I'm not going to, we'll just click Cancel. And then we'll go back into the edit module. And there we go. All right, so that one, that one doesn't work, <laughs> all right? So now we'll go up and do another one. We'll go to layer and we'll go down to filters and we'll go down to expose. No one uses exposure as a plugin, do they? So I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but I will test both of these and have it listed in the description below. People do use Nick. So we'll do a few of these. Um, let's start right at the top. I don't think, do people use Analog Effects Pro? 
I'm going to skip that one for this video. Let's use Color Effects Pro because I think a lot of people use that. So we'll go to that and see if it doesn't crash. And yeah, okay, so it opened up Color Effects Pro. And okay, um, okay, yeah, we have some fog and we could see it in this is Color Effects Pro now, all right? So we're just going to click OK and see if it brings this over into into on one photo raw 2022 of course i could have did other color effects but let's just go with this for the sake of time and see what it does oh yeah okay it worked and you can see on the far right in the layers panel we have two layers now we have the original layer at the bottom and then we have an entirely new layer with that color effects pro 4 adjustment done to it all right so we're going to get rid of this i'll turn it off or i'm going to right click on it and delete it all right let's try another neck let's go up to layer filters nick all right we did color effects what's another one viveza a lot of people i believe use viveza so we'll try that okay again now you would think that if color effects pro 4 works viveza should work hopefully all right let's pick something um tonal adjustment i want to do something that um that is distinctly different right okay let's just go with that that is pretty different all right so we'll click apply and see what happens let's see if that one works i don't see anything i'm waiting okay there's the before the original image and there's the after image okay Vive i'm glad i tested it viveza does not work you can see it's just bringing us back to the original image so let's delete that layer so, ColorFlex Pro 4 does work, Viveza doesn't work. Uh, let's go up to Layer, Filters, Nick Collection, and one, my favorite Nick plugin is SilverFX Pro 3. So I'm gonna test that for me. And we'll do that and see what that one does. Okay, again, it, it you know, on one creates a new layer. It sends that layer over. All right, let's just find something that I like. I don't like that. All right. Let's go with All right, let's go with that. And then we're going to click apply. All right, let's hope this one works because I really do like SilverFX Pro 3. And so far it isn't doing anything. Ah, oh, darn. That one doesn't work. All right. So SilverFX Pro does not work. All right. So we're not doing so well so far. I think we're like one for four. All right, let's try something else. Let's go up to layer, filters. Let's uh, go to Skylum software. Luminar 4, I know many of you never upgraded to Luminar AI. You're still using Luminar 4. Let's see if that works. So we'll go to that. And um, I'll do something very obvious, like I'll replace a sky. And we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so that's under here. Creative, Sky Replacement, Sky Selection. Let's do Storm Chasing 4. I don't know. See what that looks like. Okay. That's pretty obvious. All right. So we'll go over here, top left, click Apply. And let's see if that works. And I don't know. It's processing a long time. And we're still okay now we're into on one and it's still sitting here and you know i should add um okay it, it worked we it should i should add i'm using a mac i'm using a relatively new mac a pretty high powered mac um what some of these plugins may not work on older computers they may not work on windows computers and some of the ones that don't work on my mac may work on a windows system so if there's any discrepancies, for example, in the description below, I mentioned that um, that um, SilverFX Pro does not work, but it works on a Windows system. Let us know in the comments below. All right, so that one did work. We'll get rid of that. Delete layer. Um, okay, I'm going to do, do Luminar AI only because that is a totally different app. Supposedly, it's totally programmed differently, and let's just see if that works. So we'll go to Filter, Skylum, Luminar AI. And again, I'll replace the sky in this one, and we'll see if that works. Um, 
Yeah. So like, yeah, that is important because some, you know, Mac and Windows, of course, two totally different operating systems. Some of these plugins may work on a Windows computer and not on a Mac or vice versa. So it's something we should really um, note. Uh, for those that may want to buy, um, you know, um, on one photo raw 2022, but are a little confused about whether or not, you know, it's going to, their plugin that they often use is going to work. All right. So we replaced this guy here. We'll click apply. So we'll see if on one photo raw 2022 works with luminar AI. And we'll see if it ever does. It does take a long time. And you probably can't hear it in the video, but the fans on my computer pick kicked in. And so it, it's obviously doing something processor or video card intensive. Okay, that does work as well. So both Luminar applications I have as plugins, as Photoshop plugins, do work. Layer filters. All right, let's go to Topaz Labs. Um, I don't think a lot of people would be using Denoise AI since On One Photo Raw 2022 comes with no noise AI. So I'm not going to use that, but probably a lot of people will use Sharpen AI. So let's see if that one works. So we'll go here. It's going to invoke the Topaz plugin. All right. And max these out. Oh, they're already maxed out. All right, good. Let it. It has to, you can see in the lower left hand, it has to update. Its preview is updating. All right. So let it update and see what it looks like. I want it to be not properly sharpened. I want it to be obviously overly sharpened so that when we do look at it in On One Photo Raw 2022, we could tell 100% that it read the plugin properly and worked with the plugin properly. So it is taking a while to update. And once it does, okay, yeah, it's obvious. So there's before and there's after, before, after. So I'm going to click apply. And you can see that processing is going eight minutes, seven minutes, six minutes. So what we'll do is we'll pause the video. And when it's like towards the end here, we'll come back in and we'll take a look at it, uh, make sure and see if it worked with on one photo raw 2022. Okay, it says processing soon, and then it just popped over here. All right, okay, yeah, I could tell it, it worked. Let me zoom in a little. Okay, there is the top layer, which is the sharpen layer, and there's the bottom layer, which is the sharp unsharpen layer. So obviously that one did work. So we'll get rid of that, get rid of that layer, delete it. All right, um, four, let's see. Layer filters. Is there anything else with Topaz Labs? Um, let's see. I'm not going to. Let's go to. I don't know. Should I try Denoise? A lot of. I mean, Denoise is probably the most popular one, but there's no noise in this image. I'll check that and have that listed in. You know, in the description below this uh, video. Uh, Topaz Studio Two. I don't think anyone would use that as a plugin since all those controls are in on One Photo Raw 2022. So I don't think that is applicable. So I think that's all I'm going to test in this video. Uh, again, in the description below this video, I'll have each of these listed and whether or not they worked on my system. If you own a plugin and you're using on one photo raw 2022, if you own a plugin that I don't own, let us know if it works or doesn't work in the comment section of this video. I think that's good enough right now. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.